medicine is like anything else. For the average person, the results are all that really matters. So if the treatment works, who cares if there's anything real about it, right? How can I get some of this? None of those drugs have been approved by the FDA. Screw the FDA. I'm gonna be DOA. Welcome to Watch Mojo's Top 5 Facts. In today's installment, we're counting down the five most fascinating facts about the placebo effect, in which the individual feels the experiences, benefits, or effects of a specific treatment or drug, which in reality has no active ingredients or medical effectiveness. Number five, you can get placebo crunk. I know all of this is not real, including the vodka Ari thinks he's tripping on. It's a popular convention in film and television. What happens when you give a bunch of people fake drugs or alcohol? They get messed up. Or at least they think they do. Oh, uh, no, we'd like non-alcoholic beer. Oh, really? No. A team of psychologists from Victoria University in New Zealand put the fake buzz trope to the test. And not only did participants really believe they were feeling the effects of inebriation, but their brains went along for the ride, showing signs of legitimately impaired memory. And perhaps it was the fake wine, but that was the night George Michael and maybe went to second base. Some 148 students were told that half of them were getting vodka tonics, the other half just tonic water, and were then shown scenes from a crime. Those who thought they'd been drinking proved to be significantly less reliable witnesses. Now that's a cheap drunk. Number four, placebo's got an evil twin, the nocebo effect. I think, therefore I am. A faux drunken experience might seem like affordable fun, but is it worth a fake hangover? The placebo effect is undeniably powerful, but as comic books have taught us, with great power usually comes an evil twin or dark doppelganger. You can defeat me, Scott, but can you defeat yourself? Introducing the nocebo effect, otherwise known as the negative side effects. Some of the side effects may include nausea, muscle weakness, insomnia, change in appetite, dry mouth, irritation. Faith in a treatment can yield positive results on patients' health, but it is equally possible for them to manifest the negative side effects they'd expect from a treatment. I thought it wasn't real. Your mind makes it real. For example, placebo drugs are particularly effective against depression, but when one comparative study participant attempted to overdose on his placebo antidepressants, his body responded accordingly, showing signs of a real overdose, including critically low blood pressure. The mind is a powerful thing. How is this possible? It isn't. This contradicts everything we know about holodeck physics. Number three, animals experience it too. He's not deaf, he's stoned. Are we done here, Ari? We are not done, all right? You need to take this really seriously. If the placebo effect is a manifestation of patient expectation, how can that work for animals? It's not like Rufus understands that treatment X is intended to relieve his arthritis. But a 2010 study published in the Journal of Veterinary Internal Medicine found that a placebo treatment for canine seizures resulted in anywhere between 26% and 46% reduction in the occurrence of seizures. We've only scratched the surface on this topic, but one theory posits that the placebo effect in animals directly relates to the expectations of pet owners. Dogs are keenly attuned to human emotion and body language, so if an owner appears genuinely hopeful and positive around the pet, that expectation and elevated mood can promote a sense of well-being in the animal. He's all right. He's fine. And he's completely unaware that anything happened. As far as he's concerned, the trip was instantaneous. Number two, placebo packaging matters, especially the color. You take the red pill, you stay in Wonderland, and I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. Tricking the body into healing itself is all about salesmanship. And when it comes to health, the human brain is rife with subconscious associations to which a placebo drug can appeal, such as color psychology. A doctor telling a patient that the drug in question will work is all well and good, but packaging is crucial to a placebo drug's effectiveness. Studies have revealed that people find blue pills to be the most effective sedatives, whereas yellow placebos work best against depression. And it was all yellow. Name brand placebo pills yield better results than generic alternatives, but different regions of the world have unique cultural associations that can trump these general rules. They gave me these pills for my Tourette, but they're not working. For whatever reason, instead of calming them down, blue pills really get the blood flowing for Italian men. Can you imagine why that is? It's in! Oh, he met that perfectly! Tremendous header! Number one. 
The placebo effect has become more effective over the years. Those pills I gave you were placebos. Sugar pills. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe pharmaceutical companies have perfected their marketing, or humanity's faith in medicine has simply grown stronger with the many recent advancements. Whatever the reason, the effectiveness of placebo drugs is stronger now than ever. And then man said, life is hard. I should start taking lots of prescription drugs. In fact, American pharmaceutical companies have recently encountered issues. New drugs are failing their double-blind placebo trials, meaning that the placebo drug is yielding the same or better results as the actual drug. It's frustrating for big pharma, but undeniably intriguing for progressive healthcare professionals. Research doctors have even begun to experiment with placebo surgeries to address issues like chronic pain. As far-fetched as it may sound, placebo surgeries have yielded real results. But don't worry. Unless you're consenting to be part of a trial, prescribing placebo treatments is still considered far too unethical to be an accepted medical practice. So you can die in people's sugar pills? It's the only way to know if a drug works. So is the key to health a question of mind over matter, or marketing over mind? Remember, all I'm offering is the truth, nothing more. And have you ever experienced the placebo effect firsthand? For more highly persuasive top 10s and epileptic dog top 5s, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Why not taking pills? It's not natural. Neither is bleaching the hair on your upper lip, Matt and Mo. Give us the pills. Ooh.